Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into Ubuntu 2504, the latest release from Canonical. We'll explore all the new features, performance improvements, installation process, and what's coming next. So, whether you're a long-time Ubuntu fan or just getting started with Linux, you're going to want to stick around. Overview Ubuntu 25.04 is codenamed Lunar Lobster and continues Canonical's tradition of releasing every six months. This version is built on top of the latest Linux kernel, bringing better hardware support, improved security, and cutting-edge software updates. It's not an LTS release, so it's ideal for users who like to be on the bleeding edge of features. New features Let's talk about the biggest changes you'll notice in Ubuntu 25. 04. 1. GNOME version upgrade. The desktop environment has been updated to GNOME, bringing smoother animations, better performance, and new customization options. 2. New installer. A refreshed Ubuntu installer powered by Flutter makes setting up your system faster and more intuitive. 3. Updated apps. Core apps like Files, Settings, and the Software Center have received usability tweaks and new features. Wayland improvements. Better Wayland support for NVIDIA GPUs, giving smoother graphics and lower latency in everyday tasks and gaming. 5. Kernel upgrade. Linux kernel improves hardware compatibility, especially for newer laptops and Wi-Fi chipsets. 6. Security enhancements, stricter sandboxing for apps, improved app armor profiles, and faster security patch delivery. Performance improvements. Performance is a key focus in Ubuntu 25.04. Boot times are faster thanks to optimized system services. Memory usage is reduced, and gaming performance on Steam via Proton has improved. Battery life is also better for laptops with more aggressive power management features. Here's a quick guide on how to install Ubuntu 25.04. 1. Download the ISO from the official Ubuntu website. 2. Create a bootable USB using tools like Rufus or Bellina Etcher. 3. Boot your computer from the USB drive. 4. Select Try or Install Ubuntu from the menu. 5. Follow the on-screen installer steps. Choose language, keyboard layout, installation type, and storage settings. 6. Create your user account, set a password, and let the installation complete. Who should upgrade? If you're currently on Ubuntu 24.10, upgrading is a no-brainer. You'll get the latest improvements without waiting for the next LTS. However, if you're running 22.04 LTS and stability is your top priority, you might want to hold off. What's coming next? Canonical has big plans for the future. We're expecting further integration of snap-based system components improved AI and machine learning support out of the box, and even more performance boosts in the next release. Drop your thoughts in the comments, and if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more Linux updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.